guys, it's Amy here and today I'm going to be doing a books I bought for myself for my birthday book haul. So my birthday is on the 15th of September, I am going to be 23 years old, I think I'm possibly going to put this video up just before or on the day of my birthday, so hey, it may be my birthday today when you're watching this, who knows? So I basically bought myself a selection of books as a little treat for myself for my birthday as I've had a bit of a hard month, as you probably know, if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you'll know I was unwell and my boyfriend left for the RAF and it was just all very sad, so I thought, let's treat myself to a few books, let's cheer myself up and it'll all be good. So let's stop chatting and let's get on to the books. The first book I have to show you is Magic for Beginners by Kelly Link. I've never read anything from Kelly Link before, I think she has another book of short stories, this is a book of short stories, and from what I've read on the back it has a little quote from Alice Seabold when she wrote The Lovely Bones, I really enjoyed that book, and she says these stories will come alive, put on zoot suits and wrestle you to the ground. I think essentially the stories are kind of myths and fairy tales, kind of twisted and things like that so I think it's something I will enjoy as I do really like fairy tales. The next book I have to show you is White Teeth by Zadie Smith. This is a second hand copy and there's a big cut in the top and I'm really annoyed. I got it from eBay so obviously didn't know what it looked like beforehand but oh well. I have also never read anything by Zadie Smith. I think I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this one. Kind of people love it or hate it so I'm interested to see what I think of it. As on the back that this book deals with among many other things. Friendship, love war, three cultures cultures and three families over three generations, one brown mouse and the tricky way the past has of coming back and biting you on the ankle. So that sounds pretty good to me. The next one I have to show you is The Colour Purple by Alice Walker. I've had this one recommended to me so many times so I decided to pick it up. I actually found this hardback copy really cheap on eBay and it is brand new so I'm really quite happy about that. This book is set in the early 1900s and it follows the story of a young African American girl living in the south of the United States. It deals with a lot of things like sexism and racism and poverty during the time that it was set so I'm really interested in reading this one as I haven't read a lot of things like this apart from possibly To Kill a Mockingbird which I don't know if that can be really compared to this I think it's just set during the similar time 1930s I think so yeah another one I'm really looking forward to the next book I have here is The Lifeboat by Charlotte Rogan this is one I kind of picked up randomly I'd never really heard of it before I just saw it kind of it popped up next to something else I bought on eBay so I decided to have a look at it and it sounded really interesting. It follows the story of a group of people who are en route on a ship to New York and on the way there an explosion happens and essentially the ship starts sinking and they all have to get in a lifeboat. I think we then follow the interactions with those people and they all kind of figure that not everyone is going to survive because not everyone could fit in the lifeboat and all these things. They're all plotting and scheming and speaking about each other when they're only sat inches of part in this lifeboat. It just sounded like a really interesting read so I thought I'd pick it up because I had a voucher for eBay, that's why I bought this book, I remember now. I had a voucher for £20 which I needed to spend so I was picking up books randomly. The next book I have here is one that I picked up on the recommendation of Jen Campbell, I will leave her channel a link down below. The book is The Late Hector Kipling by David Lewis. David Lewis is the guy who plays Professor Lupin in the Harry Potter films. If you've been on my channel a while or if you've watched like the Harry Potter tag that I did, you'll know that I absolutely love Professor Lupin. He is my favourite character out of all of them. So when I found out that he wrote a book, or his real life person wrote a book, not Professor Lupin. I was really excited and the way that Jen described it made it sound really interesting. So this follows the story of Hector Kipling and Hector Kipling is an artist and I think from what I've read on the back he suffers a bereavement or a the possibility of bereavement and that it's just too much for him to bear. Um, will it make him a better artist and things like that? Um, obviously I haven't read it yet so I can't give you my full feelings on it or what it's all about but I definitely will once I've read it. The penultimate book I have to show you is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I have not read anything by Donna Tartt although I do own The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt which is over there. I think I was watching a video where Jean was speaking about this book and she was comparing it to another book and I can't quite remember what it was but I know she was comparing it to another book that I really enjoyed and so I figured I would probably enjoy this one as she was comparing them saying that they would go together if you liked one you would like the other. I'll try and find that video for you and link it down below. So I'll just read this little quote from the back it says the secret history tells the story of a group of classic students at an elite
white American college who are cerebral, obsessive and finally murderous. It is haunting, compelling and a brilliant piece of fiction. That's from the Times. I think I'll probably be picking this one up very soon. The final book I have to show you is actually another one that I first heard of from Jen, although I've heard Jean and Lena speak about it as well, and it is The Art of Asking by Amanda Palmer. I actually didn't realise until the book arrived and I read a few of the pages and I read the back and things that Amanda Palmer is actually from the Dresden Dolls, which is a band that I listened to years and years and years ago. I was probably about 14 when I first listened to them. I had them on my um, MySpace page, if any of you had MySpace back in the day. But anyway, so I didn't realise that this was her, and actually that's made me even more interested in reading this. Amanda Palmer is also married to Neil Gaiman, which is awesome because Neil Gaiman is a fantastic writer and I love his work, so I'm really excited to read this one. I'm really glad that I watched Jen and Lena and Jean's videos and they mention these amazing books because I just can't wait to read it, it's so exciting! Uh, so those are all the books that I bought for myself for my birthday. I think I probably will be doing another book haul near the end of the month or maybe at the beginning of October with the books that my family and friends bought for me for my birthday. If anyone buys me any, I, I might not do a video depending if anyone buys me anything. But yes, this is essentially my September book haul. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you have been buying books as well. What have you been buying? As always, I will leave links to Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, everything down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye! I have no idea where to even begin with this book. It was a really difficult read and I think it's going to be really difficult to review because I have really mixed thoughts on it.